week-long trip down the Willamette River is officially underway. The lessons for those taking part in this annual event about as broad and winding as the river itself. KZI 9 News reporter Rhoda Krause shows us what went into Paddle, Oregon and its ties to Native American history. On Monday morning, about 200 paddlers gathered at the Willamette River in Corvallis. Everybody checked yeah, in. we're going to meet Everybody's up over here right now. Travis Williams is the executive director of Willamette Riverkeeper, the organization putting on the annual event. Y'all ready to go? I'm ready. He says the five-day event is a way to get more people out on the water. It's just the perspective you get in paddling the river is so much different than driving across it every day. So. Um, that is really one of the main things we're trying to do is just provide that exposure to folks. But also a chance for participants to see different issues firsthand. We have some significant work we still need to do for the Willamette in terms of water quality and habitat improvements. Giving paddlers a reason to love the water. This is next year's paddler right here. And to take care of the water. Remind me of your first name again. Uh, You're from Texas, right? Yes, yes. How right. you doing, George? Good yeah. to see you again. Yeah. I'm Kate. With paddlers bringing their canoes and kayaks from different parts of the country. I have a pickup and we threw them up there. Some driving from Texas. Ready to go, George? We uh, participated in this event last year and uh, we wanted to uh, come back and do it again. We had so much fun. Others from the Confederated Tribes of Grand Ronde. Battles in, slow and deep. Uh, Grand Ronde was invited because they are, they do, they do do a lot of effort in preserving parts of the river, cleaning parts of the river. Their canoes, a reason to keep their culture alive for the future generations. The spirit of the canoe helped us to, to, to share our stories, our, our history, our songs, our culture, our names, everything that we can with the children as far as that canoe being a teaching tool. The water alive, a form of unity. When it comes to this, we're all one. We're all one color. You know. The paddlers will camp in Albany tonight, and they'll end their journey four days from now in Canby. In Corvallis, Rhoda Krause, KEZI, 9 News.